Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to keep framing text inside Filmora 10. So actually Filmora 10 has many animation effects for text. By the way, there's some people that are still asking about animation keyframe for text. So that's exactly uh, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Okay, just a quick one. Uh, here I'm uh, inside Filmora 10. So we don't need to import anything because we are going to use all the material inside the program. Uh, the first thing, uh, we need to create a text. So I'm going to go to title and then go to included and title again. Uh, I'm going to use the, this one as a default title. Okay, let's drag and drop it onto the timeline. Okay, so the first thing we need to customize the text. Uh, let's double click on that and then change it. And here I'm going to change to my name. So this is my uh, channel name and also my name and also I change the fonts to be best. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to keep it uh, like this. Uh, actually, you can also customize it here with a preset or you can just uh, go ahead to the advanced edi uh, text editor to customize more such so as the border and the color and, and uh, many things. If you want to watch uh, how to add text and customize the text, you can watch it right here or here. I already have a a tutorial on how to add text to video using Filmora 10 okay uh, let's click OK uh, to finish it and now I'm going to take a snapshot of this text uh, okay so we're going to use this one this is a snapshot button in Filmora 10 let's click on that and now uh, we have uh, we have a snapshot an image inside this uh, folder uh, this is uh, in in the media folder okay and now we can delete the text on the timeline delete it and now we need a video, right? Go here. Uh, I'm going to use a sample video, so I don't need to import anything. But if, if you want, you can import your old video, okay? So this one, uh, this one is good to use as a background video. Let's, let's play it. Uh, now I need to, uh, to run and drop the text in the media, okay, folder. And then this is an image, and just run and drop it onto the timeline, okay? Now I'm going to make it. Uh, as long as the video so uh, okay so this is the first one uh, we have the text right here right and I want to uh, to make the text uh, just fade in uh, at the beginning to do that uh, we need to add animation keyframe uh, firstly I will move the playhead to the, the beginning of the clip I can press home to uh, go back to the beginning of the clip now uh, at this position I'm going to right click and then add animation okay very simple so uh, this is uh, add a customized area I'm going to add a new keyframe for it uh, just click on add okay so this is an, uh, the first keyframe for so the first keyframe I want to reduce the opacity to zero okay so to do that just uh, click here to reduce it and then I will move about 10 frames for what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, at this position, I want to, to increase the opacity to 100%. Okay, so just to create a fading effect here. Right, so let's uh, see the effect now. Okay, so is is a little bit too fast. I can extend the uh, duration of the effect uh, by right this uh, keyframe. Uh, to the right but actually it is just uh, your personal opinion and uh, now it is going to be like this all right so supposing that at this position I want it I, I want this text uh, this is my logo to move to the uh, to the right corner of the screen then I need to add another keyframe here uh, at this position I want to add another keyframe let's click on add again uh, so this is the first position and now uh, I'm going to move it to right here. So we are going moving forward about maybe 10 frames or something like that. And we can adjust it later. And then we can move the text to the corner, uh, to this corner. Uh, and it is too big. I also want to uh, scale it down. So I'm going to use this one to scale it down a little bit. Uh, so it is, uh, will be at the corner of the screen. Uh, let's move it to here. Okay, so we have two, uh, four keyframes here, but only two uh, animation effect. The first one is a fading, fading effect, and the uh, the second one is moving to the corner. Right? Let's uh, review it. All right. Supposing that at this uh, corner, 
uh, I want to move it back to the center and then after that I, I will create another animation effect to fade out okay so to move back to the uh, to the center we need to add another animation keyframe so click on add again and then move some frame forward uh, maybe 10 or 8 is up to you okay and then we can move the text again to the center of the screen right and also remember to scale it up okay to make it bigger like this and at the end of the clip i want to to have it fade out so i'm going to add another keyframe to create a new animation effect uh, so we are going to be here and then add another keyframe so at this position the opacity is 100 percent and at the end uh, we are going to adjust the opacity to zero and it's done so it is very simple to to add uh, animation keyframe for text or in other words keyframing text in Filmora 10 right so let's review everything here so that's nice right so uh, finally you need to export the uh, export the project and of course I'm going to export it and show you at the at the, the end of this tutorial that's very simple thank you very much for watching if you have any question let me know in the comment section below goodbye and see you again bye